I did mine on Everyone Loves Parking, especially here. I'll give you guys a second to write that. Okay. So these are just some parking lots. Um, bonus, if anyone can name the movie that's in, I'll give you a pack of gum. Uh, Logan. No. Audrey. Yep, you get one. Oh, God. Okay. So my proposal is to improve the parking at Brighton because I hate it. I think it sucks. I get tickets so much. And even today I'm in the red section, so hopefully I'll get one. All right. So um, by raise of hands, have any of you guys had like a hard time like parking at school this year? All right. And then does someone want to explain like how that's been for them? Great. So I don't have the first period. So coming for second period, it's like there's no parking available or like if there are any spots that aren't taken up by students, it's either taken up by teachers or like the construction workers or a lot of the underclassmen, but they're not getting ticketed and they don't get in trouble for it. It's frustrating. Yeah. Um, the biggest solution that I have found to the parking issue um, is my little sister got surgery in January and so now I do her handicap parking flat. There you go. It works. <laughs> All right, so in one of my surveys, I couldn't figure out how to like get the actual survey onto here. So I just made like the one, but it was the same data. But it was the same question if uh, the people had struggled to park and 94% of them said yes, they did. And there were like 6%, so probably like two answers that said they didn't struggle to park this year. I don't know who those two were, but yeah. Um, so my goal, uh, these are my three action plans, like just like summarize, it'll be explained more later on, but to limit the parking passes for next year and to prioritize the seniors um, so every, every senior should get a spot to park and to, a lot of people have fake passes to raise the like fee for like people who are caught with like the fake passes. And so by raise of hands, do you guys think the parking passes should be limited? Oh, these are also off the Bright and Bad parking account. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. So it seems like everyone raised their hand, yeah. Um, so this is my um, like website one, and it said that 36% of adults came out to say that they get like stressed like trying to find spots to park. And like I asked people on the survey too, I'm like, do you guys get stressed? And everyone was like, yeah, like it's really stressful because you gotta like, yeah, to be on time. Um, so my first solution. This is the first step in my action plan as well, is to limit the number of parking passes given out at the beginning of the year, so then there's less like spots people are like going for and room for every, or well, the seniors at least to park. Um, all right, by raise of hands, do you guys think seniors should be able to get a parking spot in all of the lots? All right, um, yeah. Okay, uh, this was my amateur interview, my sister Brinley, but it's not biased because she's a senior, so, or well it is biased because she is a senior, but not because she's my sister, but she said she has no motivation because there's nowhere to park, and she like hardly ever comes, so, yeah. And then my second solution in my plan was to give priority to the faculty and seniors yeah. And whatever spots are left should just go out to the juniors like first come first serve. But every senior and teacher and faculty should have like like um, a pass where they have enough room. And not to give out extra passes. And, okay, buyers of hands, do you guys think uh, kids who make fake passes should have a higher ticket or it should be the same? Yeah? Okay. Also, this is a, have you guys ever made a fake one? Anyone? I, <laughs> I see them all the time. They look dumb. Yeah. Um, so I interviewed Miss Hatch as my expert, and she's like perfect because when I had her class, she would complain every day about parking, and she's like, I park illegal every day. And I asked her about the fake passes, and she's like, yes, absolutely. And yeah, this picture, like, I just think it's kind of funny. And, um, so this brings me to my third action plan step, which is to give higher tickets to students who have a fake pass. 
So then that way, if they do get passed, or if they do get ticketed more for them, then they'll probably stop parking there because it's a higher fee. And even though their parents will probably take care of it anyways, but yeah. <laughs> And what this will accomplish for next year, obviously you can't do anything about it this year, but it would be a better year for seniors and faculty since they'll be on time more, they won't have to worry about like somewhere to park. It will create more money for the school if they have to like ticket higher for the fake passes, as well as the kids who don't even have one that are like sophomores and stuff. And it's a lot less hassle for like the upperclassmen who it's their like senior year, they just wanna have fun and not have to like worry about parking and things like that and I think that might be all yeah thank you do you guys have any questions so there's a lot of schools that have numbered parking spots so with the school being new and like next year it'll be fully finished with all the like set parking spots do you think they should number them and have a specific number to each parking spot? Um, yeah Miss Hatch actually brought that up I think that would be a good idea I don't know if it's like doable like well, maybe over the summer if they like worked on it, but it seems like that would be like really fast. But I think that would be a good idea, yeah. What would be your process of working with administration? Um, well, I just think like talking to like the vice principals and stuff, because I think they're the ones who like handle this like at the beginning of the year. And yeah. Uh, and. Sorry, can you say that a little louder? Do you think they could handle like more tickets to people who are parking like in the actual parking spot so you can get free? I think they need to give out less because that's where all my tickets come from. But like I still have a A lot pass, so I'm still an A lot, but yeah. yeah. Um, do you think we should be allowed to charge a free ball? Um, isn't that where teachers go this year? Yeah, but how's the lot's not even used? Yeah, I think they should let the extra spots just go to people. Yeah. Uh, um, did you like? Are there any solutions that you have for like other complaints that are gonna be like for like the underclassmen that yeah. don't get one? Yeah. Well, I thought about that, and then I was like, well, they're just like the like for um, sophomores and juniors. Like you don't even get a pass till junior anyways. And if um, there will, will still be enough for some juniors, but not all. So I think like they could like carpool or like go to the skate park, you know. What's your opinion on the current layout of a lot, the upper a lot? Like I, all the potholes? Or? Well, no, I just mean like the way that it's all <laughs> angled in that little alcove. Like I, am, I don't know. I, I avoid it because I can't park. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> cinder blocks. Cinder blocks so. are, we could have like six more parking spots with those cinder blocks around. Yeah, that is true. Big, yeah. Well, those will be gone next question year. Question here. Yeah. When you say there's no parking, are you specifically saying no parking to park your car or no parking to park your car in a desirable on-campus spot? Option two. I could totally go to the skate park, but then I'll have to leave my house like seven minutes earlier <laughs> and walk. And especially when it's like snowy and cold, like it just sucks. So the juniors should have to do that instead of the seniors. So and then we're late and we get no grades. You're arguing with me. I, I disagree. You guys all I'm not should have this up there. Because you were like, see, we're all like, yeah. heaven forbid, seven minutes. Okay, no, great. See, we say that those spots are open, but if you go over there, even at second period, all of those spots are full at the skate park as well. Yeah, I don't have a third period, so even like, I always see Harrison yeah. looking for a spot every day.